So the first she jabs and I jab back, she's going to parry with her rear hand, the cross hand. One jab, one parry, one cross. So this back hand, this cross hand is very effective as using not just the offense but the defense. It's just as important ladies and gentlemen. Our close personal friends at Kabuki Fox, we've got... Uh, doesn't matter, the arms will get cut out. We've got Graham and Hershey again for us. Alright, we're back. We've got Graham and Hershey again. Give us some more punches. And punches are always a good thing. Thank you. Yeah. Welcome back. So, as we say, punches and bunches. So, we've just learned coming off the first uh, punch, which was the jab, which was the lead hand. We're going to now concentrate on the rear hand, which is a cross. Everyone knows this is a cross. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to slowly throw the rear cross into the pad. We're going to hold it out. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can just test out what your infrastructure is like if your frame is nice and strong. If it's not strong, it will collapse. So I'd like my lovely wife now to collapse her frame. This is what we want, because why? We want to keep improving our technique. It's not wrong, nothing's ever wrong. We can improve it. So this long cross now is thrown out. The cross is a more of a powerful hand. That's why they call it the cross, and it comes from the rear, rear side of the body. Slowly relax and throw that cross back to where it come from. Again, the cross follows in a nice straight linear line. Once it hits the target, it does not deviate. So Hershey will throw that cross again. Some people will drop that cross as it's coming back home, and which is a perfect opportunity for me to let my lead left, left hook, I should say. So it goes in and out in the one straight line, slowly hold it out. You're throwing your hip, your back foot should be on the toes at all times for that cross, and as Hershey pulls it back to her safe spot, which is called home. If we can actually throw a cross here, chin down, and breathing out with a the punch, there we go. This is a rear cross, holding out, yeah. Once in a while, we don't want to punch hard, we just want to use this technique. So, as we've done last session, we learned the lead jab, which is the lead jab hand. Now we're going to combine it with the rear cross. So it's the old one-two, or should we say the modern one-two, up to yourself. So the pad's going to be held up around the pad holder's head height. Okay, it's very important people when you're throwing and holding pads, is to give a bit of resistance. And this is called stationary boxing. We're just punching from one spot. We're actually not moving at all. So we're now throwing the jab across. So the jab's being thrown across, and the cross is from the other angle. If you like, you can throw the one, two, the left and right hands off the single pad. That's where she's demonstrating. One, two. If you like, you can throw a jab, followed by a double cross. Hey. Jab, cross, arm. Again, the rear cross, if she throws a rear cross and I throw my hook, she'll use the same hand to cover. So it's a cross, cover, cross, straight down the line, bop, bop, one more, bop, bop. So if we throw this cross out and lead out again, this is the cross we're after. Like, if you like to just slowly turn your knuckles downwards, just a touch. You see the rotation in the shoulder that comes up. That makes more of a defensive uh, position for Hershey not to be hit. If we just throw the punch normally, as I call it, just a, like a vertical punch, see how the shoulder drops? We have a lot more cheekbone, temple uh, axis to be hit. And now start turning with the two knuckles. See how the shoulders come up? Just a natural reaction. Now, we almost creating an object in a way. So, little things like that we're after, yeah? As we say, if you can't do it slow, you can't do it fast. You always should be in control of the punch and not let the punch be in control of you. Uh, we have to crawl before we walk, and this is a, a prime example of this. So, her, she's going to throw a jab and then follow by a cross. One more. So, 
if first she jabs and I jab back, she's going to parry with her rear hand, the cross hand. One jab, one parry, one cross. So this back hand, this cross hand, is very effective. Is using not just the offense, but the defense. It's just as important, ladies and gentlemen. So the jab, followed by the parry, straight through the cross. One, two, three. So that's the one-two combination.